Now then, how are we doing? Welcome to the channel, welcome to Jim Will Shave. Nice to see you, I hope you're all doing well. And it's the start of the weekend, for you, not for me. Work for me again, but nothing new there. Name and again, name and again, I'm in. Okay, for the last video, I was talking about, uh, well, basically, newcomers to traditional wet shaving, about uh, what you would find if you were about to start the journey into the world of traditional wet shaving, what you'd likely use, what you'd find on the supermarket shelves. And in that video, I used the uh, Wilkinson Classic Razor, the plastic one, the black plastic one. So this, on this video, I'm going to be using another razor that you see on the high street, and that is the King C Gillette. I think this was released, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it was somewhere around about 12 months ago, maybe less than that in that region. Now this costs roughly 12, 13, 14 pounds sterling. In that, it's in that ballpark, that type of area. And uh, it comes supplied with a, a tuck of five blades, King C Gillette blades. Razor itself is made in China. So when you think Gillette, it wasn't made in United States or Slough, England. It's made in China, but for Gillette. And this is the razor, for those who have never seen it before. It's quite a nice looking razor. You wouldn't think it was so cheap. Less, certainly less than £15. It's got a long handle. The handle's a bit too long for me. Uh, the end is rounded, so you can't stand it up, which is another thing I'm not too keen on. The knurling only goes halfway down the handle, and it's not that grippy, like... So it's going to make a fool of me now, but if your arms are slippy, it's like a barley twist nail. So if your arms are slippy, it's just going to slip through your fingers like that. So if you do ever purchase this razor, that's just one thing you need to be wary of. Balance point is here. So it's halfway on the nail. So you could rest that handle on top of your pinky and hold the razor there and that version there. And it's perfectly balanced. It's a three piece. Just take the handle off. One piece. Base cap. And there's the blade loaded in the top cap. King Seat Gillette blade. I'm interested to see how this compares to the uh, classic Wilkinson sword. A little bit of overhang at the edge of the blade to be aware of. Just on the sides of the head here. So you have to watch your old nostrils there and your ear flaps. So that's what I'm shaving with today. My last video I used the uh, Gillette cream, readily available on supermarket shelves. Now this video I'm going to be using the Palm Olive Shave Stick. Again, it's dirt cheap. I can't remember how much, but uh, it's dirt cheap. You can pick up a few of these for next to nothing and they last a long time. And again, I'm going to be using a, a sub £20 brush. It's the uh, Carrot Orange, Orange Carrot, DS Cosmetics, 26mm knot. And when you're using a shave stick, you face lathering. So uh, I think it's quite important to have a, a larger, heftier brush. That way you'll hold enough lava in the brush for three passes. And here is the Palm Olive Shave Stick in question. For some reason, actually, it smells fresher than the cream. It's more akin to the uh, hand soap, but still a very pleasant scent. So let's get on, see how we do. I'm going to use a shave. Again, this is a really easy shave, as you can see. Very, very cheap. Nothing expensive. Most expensive thing is uh, my brush. <laughs> and you remember the last shave? Actually, uh, <laughs> Got a weeper off the shaving brush. Somebody did point it out, thank you. Yeah, so uh, a weeper off the shaving brush. That is a first. Okay, so what you do is you wet the face with warm water, grab the stick. Now, there's all there's various, there's different kinds of these sticks. You've got the palm olive, you've got this is actually an arco of taking the wrapper off. Again, they're cheap boots, Wilkinson sword. So they are varied. 
And once the face is wet, you just simply apply to the areas to be shaved. Don't be shy of it. It's cheap. Let's say <laughs> you could shave every day. One of these sticks will probably last you for months. Plenty on the neck. Just going to wet that stick a little bit. Just to help it glide more. Get more soap. Again, thanks for all the recent subscriptions and likes and comments. Because uh, some people have said it is good to see budget shaving gear used as opposed to stuff that you have to uh, remortgage a house for. My pleasure. Just going to wet the brush, shake out the excess, and start by liberally spreading the water. As you can see, we've got no time at all. The magic starts to happen. Very, very cheap way of shaving, shaving sticks. No bowls required. No wastage. Splay the brush. Just look at that lava build. As if by magic. Now oh, Mr. G, Gerhardt's Mr. G shaves. We've both started releasing these uh, budget videos. <laughs> and at the same time, it was purely coincidental. We didn't plan it that way, it just happened that way. So, Friday night tonight, I'm, uh, I'm away for five days tomorrow. For work reasons. So, uh, off down to the south coast of England. What I'm doing now guys, I'm just applying more water to the lava so uh let's look at this lava build absolutely incredible it really is i think it's magic yeah so uh i'll be doing a my midweek shave will be in a hotel hopefully i'll have a fan that'll be able to disable in the bathroom so uh I'll be using a new razor to the channel next week. That's going to be the pearl. And the lot is looping everywhere now. And that's good enough for me. You might see videos where don't forget I'm talking here as so to people who are new to this game and uh, this might be the first second YouTube video I've ever watched so a lot of this is directed at those so I'm not trying to teach Sweden guys how to suck heads here just imagine put yourself in that position imagine and uh, what you'd want to see if you were just starting out in uh, this way of shaving yeah so uh, You'll see a lot of channels using expensive soaps, iron soaps, and they'll be building lava, like Santa Claus beard. And uh, don't think they have to do that. You don't. You don't have to do that at all. This is great. This is good enough. It's wet. It's slick. It's all you need. You don't need massive lavas. It is nice sometimes to do that. Okay. So, King C. Gillette. King C. Gillette blade. First use. It's a very mild razor. There's a uh, hardly any blade exposure. Excellent for a, a beginner. Not just a beginner. Just like the Wilkinson Sword Classic. Eh? 
this lasts you for years. It's a uh, brass construction, chromed. So over time, some of them curl may wear away, that's about all. That's going to take so long. What am I doing with tools to be shaving with the grain? I do beg your pardon. I was getting ahead of myself there, guys. I do apologise. I was forgetting myself. Very mild, he says. Wiping a little bee put away. Well, I'm Jim will shave. I get weepers off the shaving brush. <laughs> Not everybody can say that, fortunately, for them. Rinse off. In fact, I believe uh, Mark Hutchinson, Friendship Shaven, this is his favourite razor. Such an easy shave, it really is. There's uh, more blade feel in the Wilkins Saw Classic. You remember that came with five blades, just under five pounds off eBay. And this is with the grain I'm going now. And although there's hardly any blade show, on this blade, it's providing some good audio feedback. Good first pass. Mild does not mean that it doesn't shave. It will shave. Yeah, just rubbing that slickness around. And there's plenty of it. Plenty of it. Yeah, mild it doesn't mean that it won't shave, it just means that it may take you longer to get there. If you want to be baby but smooth. You don't have to be baby but smooth. And the lava's blooping everywhere. See the lava's thin down now because I've got very, very little stubble left. No beer with the shade tonight. I'm up, I'm up too early in the morning. So, uh, there's been no beer for the past few nights actually. Work, work just gets in the way of life. I oh, hear yeah, that when I stretch the skin. You can hear the. Uh, The audio feedback increases. As you can see, I'm stretching the skin just using facial muscles here. Facial muscles? Facial muscles. And I'm going to shaving across the grain. Blow my cheek out, that also stretches the skin, helps the stubble to stand and end, easier for the blade to cut. That is sweet against the moustache, it really is. Stretching with the fingers here. Ah, and it sounds like I'm scraping burnt toast. That's the sound you want. That is the sound you want. You hear that? 
or even burnt toast. Very nice. Even if I do say so myself. Shame, don't come much cheaper than this. And the Arco sticks, they're probably easy to find, but you'd have to uh, go on to internet or Amazon to find them. There's some amazing deals. Bundles. Okay, still there's uh, still a bit of work to do here. I was, I was using the uh, Blackland Blackbird now that be there'd be very little trouble left. Yeah, so off to the south coast of England tomorrow. A seaside town called Bognor Regis. As you can tell by the title, Regis. It's a former royal holiday destination. From the days when the British royal family used a holiday in Britain. Well, speaking of Britain, I've just watched the England Scotland game. Jeez. England needs to up their game. Harry Kane, he useless he was. Nil nil draw against Scotland at Wembley. Come on. That shouldn't have happened. But to give Scotland a due, solid defence. They kept getting in the way of the uh, English players. They did. <laughs> Never mind. England always go about these football tournaments the hard way. Never make it easy for themselves. Never. Against the grade on the stash, very easy. In for the nostrils, no problem whatsoever. So listen to that feedback. One thing I find with this, you do have to uh, rinse the razor regular, regularly. Because that gap in the blade will uh, fill up rather quickly because the gap is so small. And the cutting angle, the 30 degree angle, there's no margin for error. You've got to be pretty accurate and keep it as close as you can to that 30 degrees during the shave. As you can tell, there's times when the razor head is just skipping over the stubble. It's a very tight margin. But once you see it, Right, now let's see how we do on a neck, shall we, because everybody's tricky bit, the neck. This is why I prefer more efficient razors, because, uh, before saying that, Doing very well. Maintaining that 30 degree angle. Doing really well. Impressive. Quick hold rinse. Oh, 
Be back up in a minute. Don't worry. I know you're not worried. More than happy. More than happy with that. That's baby what's move. No pickups required of three passes. That's very good. Again, the palm on so excellent post shape feel. The next clear, I can't feel any velcro on there whatsoever. No velcro in the usual goatee areas. That's a fantastic shave. Okay, not as good as uh, a real efficient razor where you can feel a blade and uh, you know if you're gonna if you make a false move, it's gonna peel you. But uh, well, honest God, I've forgotten how good that was. I'm more than impressed with that. Afters, what shall we have? What shall we have? Uh, Let's see. Let's have a look in here. First thing that comes to hand. Da -da. Yeah, if you're new to wet shaving, you might find this a bit strange, a bit funny. What's he doing using that stuff? It's traditional wet shaving. This is the type of stuff we use. Yeah, I've got a burn. A nice burn. Makes you know you're alive. That's a great old fashioned scent, it really is. So that's the skin stud light. I don't use post shave balms, oily skin. It's just going to give me breakouts. It's all I use is aftershave. All I use, if you've got dry skin, suffering from dry skin issues, it, chances are you're going to need a post shave balm. Uh, I only use a balm if I have razor burn, irritation, and in the last two and a half years, three years maybe, I've had razor burn once and that was with using the Feather ASD2 razor, believe it or not. But, uh, happy days. Bombs. I do, I do have bombs down here. But, uh, Nivea Sensitive, very inexpensive. Prorazzo, all available. Supermarket, online, Prorazzo. All cheap stuff, all cheap stuff. Okay, so that was uh, that went smoother than I thought. It's uh, quick recap. Brush for today. DS Cosmetics. Carrot orange, orange carrot. Soap for today was the Paul Olive Shave Stick. Very very inexpensive soap. Very very. Long lasting razor for today was the King C Gillette, and in there, sorry, the tux wet was the King C Gillette blade. And that was all finished off with whoops, I didn't find it, I put it away. That was all finished off with a great smell of brute. So, there we are, very cheap. Very affordable supermarket shave. So, if you fancy having a go, just get yourself down to the supermarket and hey presto, you're in business. It's going to cost you less than excluding a brush. Well, if you use a supermarket brush, uh, Wilkinson's, there's another brush for sale in there now, which is very inexpensive. It's uh, Made by Bulldog. I couldn't get to see the handle because the handle was packaged, but the knot isn't very dense, so it's more akin to the cheap Wilkinson sword brush, but the, bris the bristles did feel uh, a lot nicer. So with a supermarket brush and the equipment I've used, I'll quickly guesstimate uh, about 20 quid. And uh, you've got many, many, many shaves there for that 20 quid. So if you're thinking about it, don't think, just go and do. Okay, thanks all very much for watching. Thanks for all the recent subscriptions. All stay safe, guys. I'll see you further down the line. Bye-bye now.